Hey guys, David Kyle here and welcome to a brand new YouTube training. In this video, we're going to look at how to use Canva and how to create the perfect before and after image that you can use for your Facebook ads potentially and for all your social media channels. So enough of me talking, let's jump straight into today's video. First thing we need to do is head over to canva.com. So if you're in Google, just literally go to Google and just type in Canva. Canvacut.com should pop up right away as the top for the ad and as the bottom. And as it says here, Canva is a beautiful uh, design with your team. You can use Canva to drag and drop feature and layout to design, share and print business cards, logo, presentations and so on. And we use this all the time for our social media and Facebook ad management clients because it's so easy to use to create the perfect images or videos, which I'll show you in a minute. So the first thing you do is just click the Canva uh, button. Once you land on the page, so this is like the welcome home page, you can sign in or sign up using Google, Facebook or your own email address. Or if you already have an account like me, you just click to log in right away. So I'm going to click to log in with Facebook. It loads me in straight away. Let's just make sure I'm in the right one. So I pay for Canva, which means it gives me a lot more extra images. It gives me a load more extra bonus features, like I can put transparent backgrounds on images and so on from there. But for this actual design, the image that we're going to create today, you only need the free version. What we're going to start with right away is we're going to click the Instagram layout right here. There is tons and tons of pre-made layouts. So if you click create a design, it gives you a load of different examples or different templates that you can use and edit and make the type of things that you want right away. But I'm just going to go for the Instagram layout. So if I just go back just to Canva.com and I'm going to click the Instagram layout picture here. Once this loads up, it's given me my square right here. So if I just move myself up here out the way. So then once this loads up, you've got your blank screen. Then on the left hand side here, we've got templates. These are the templates that you can use. OK, so anyone that you hover over and it says free is completely free to use. If we hover over this one, for example, it doesn't say free. So when we click this. If you're not paying for Canva, then you might have to pay for a certain element, which will probably be the image in the background. But if you over hover, if you hover over one that says free like this one here, then this is a template you can use, and you just edit it and go with it straight away. But for now, we're going to create one, create one right from scratch. So if I just select all of this and I just press backspace to delete. So it's just a blank screen and we're good to go. So we're going to take our mouse over to the left hand side where it says elements. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to where it says grids. We'll press all and we're just going to go for a square box to begin. Square box loaded up. We're going to drag the right hand side into the middle. And you can see the middle, it kind of stops and it puts a little pink line. Can you see that little pink line? Watch the middle now, you see it? That shows us it's in the middle. If I pull this up, there you go, another pink line. It shows us exactly where we're at, and it even has the borders and stuff. So Canva's great for this because it shows us all the dimensions and it shows us all the areas where things load up and match each other. So if I was to put one here, and then I'd put another image, and I pull this across, and I drag this one up to match the same level, it will tell me, can we see another pink line loading up? So let me just get rid of this one. So we've got our first square. We've added that in. We've centered it. So it's bang on center. We're then going to add another square onto the opposite side. But I want to drag this up just a little bit, let's say here. And I'm going to pull these two in slightly. So pull this into the right hand side a little. And pull this into the left hand side a little. Just because I want a nice clear white line down the middle to show the difference. Once I've got this in there, the next thing I'm going to do is go back to elements. Let's press X on that to get rid of it. I'm going to hover down to where it says shapes. So where it says shapes and press all shapes. I'm going to press the circle one. 
and I'm going to drag this and make it smaller so it's right in the middle. Let's pull it down in the middle, center, perfect. Now I want this to be white because this is where my logo is going to go. So I'm going to hover over to where it says the gray box here. So if we click it, it pops up and it gives you a load of options up here. We're going to press the gray box. We're going to click the white color and that changes it to white. From there, I now want to add my logo in. So I'm going to hover over to it. It says Upload on the left hand side. I'm going to click Upload an image. And then I go and find my image. If I've already added my image in, I would just go to uh, Uploads and it shows me all the images I've got here. So my logo is already in, as we can see this one here. So I'm going to give that a click and I'm now going to try and drag that into size. So again, just wait for it to show me the center, maybe a little bit bigger, maybe. Perfect. So my logo is right in the middle. Now you go and find your before and after pictures. Again, same principle. Upload an image. You go and find your image and you just press open. So we've already got my images in. Or I'm what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to use uh, images that Canva give us. So I'm going to hover over to where it says photos. Now, again, some of these are completely free, like this one here says premium, that's $9.99. This one again says premium $9.99. There are tons of free images that you can search for. All you need to do is press the free button up here at the top. And this then shows you all the images that Canva give for free. Also, if you pay for the version of Canva, you also get an additional number of free images. But it's just a case of trying to find the right image for you. So I'm just going to look for before and after. It's going to give me a couple of options here. So if I'm going to go for these two guys here, so I'm going to click this image and I'm going to put the guy with the bigger belly into this section here. I'm going to double click and then I'm going to drag him across probably to about there and press tick. So maybe I'll make this smaller. So I double click and I'm now going to this might not work, so we maybe pull him a bit further to the left. Press tick. So that's that first image. We're then going to add the second image in onto the other side. Again, double click, drag him over, and press done. So it shows our before and after. We've got the before picture and we've got the after picture. What we're then going to do is make it stand out a lot more. We're going to add a little box at the bottom and put some text. So we're going to hover back over to elements on the left hand side. And we're going to scroll down. We're going to stay on shapes until we find kind of like a... I'll, I'll, when we find it, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So let's just keep scrolling down. Um, if we go I missed it maybe we go for this one here so we pull this down I want more of an angle to it um, so this is the great thing about shapes it's got tons and tons of different options so all you need to do is just kind of just keep scrolling through until you find the right type of shape that you think would go uh, well with this. So this is probably the one I'm looking for at the minute. So if I click this one here, that's going to load up. I'm going to drag this down and move it into position. But what I actually think I want to do is I'm going to flip it over. So let's see if it gives me that option right now. So if I click this image, there's no flip here, but there's a rotate button here, so we rotate this all the way around. 180, and then, nah, so that's still not going to work. So let's try, so let's just try it the other way. So let's rotate it back this way, and we're going to make it a bit smaller by dragging it up. And then you just move it into position. Let's pull this maybe a bit bigger now. There. So let's now make this a different color. So let's go for black. And then we're going to scroll back up. And let's just press X on this. So next we're going to add some text. We're going to click the text button here. 
and we're going to so you give loads of different options but we're just going to go for let's just say add a headline and we're just going to put men of cardiff nice and simple we're going to drag this down we're going to select the whole text and obviously we have to change it to a different color so we'll make it white men of cardiff we'll also change this to a different type of font so over on the left up here it, oh, double select the text top left up here where it says the font name you just want to try and find a nice font that would go with the image so let's just go for a real basic one uh, i layer on heavy better so actually i'm going to change this men of cardiff let's just change it to over 30s men of cardiff let me just drag it out to fit and reposition it so maybe select all let's just make it a little bit smaller over 30s men of cardiff then what i'm going to do then is to make it stand out i'm going to go to elements again we're going to click the square box we're going to make it a bit smaller we're going to drag that in we're going to make it white I'm going to drag it in a bit more as well. So then we're going to add another text. So let's just duplicate. So if we click the text we've already got, and we press the duplicate button up here at the top. We'll select all that text and make it black. And we can drag that into space. Let's just go, are you ready? So, men of Cardiff, over 30s men of Cardiff, are you ready? And then we'll put one more text. So, we duplicate this. We're going to make this text back to white. So, select the whole text. And we're going to drag it down. I'm just going to call this meh. And then let's make this quite a bit bigger. So select all the text, click the uh, this text size. Let's make it a bit too big, 42. I think messages today, messages. We'll put today underneath. And let's drag it up a bit more. Okay, so it's, start, it's starting to get there. So let me just play around with this a little bit. I'm going to make this box a little bit taller. Move Men of Cardiff up a little bit. Move the white box up a tiny bit. Move the text up. Good. So, men of Cardiff, uh, over 30 men of Cardiff, are you ready? Message us today. So, nice and simple. Again, it kind of points down. So, if you're running a Facebook advert like this, your call to action button will be just under this image here. So, you'd have the headline for the image. So, you'd have, usually when you run ads, you'd have your text at the top. You'd have your image down the bottom. And then you'd have your call to action button just underneath this text here. The way we've done this text is quite unique. We've done it so it slants inwards, as you can see, kind of points down towards the button. Oops, what's going on here? So it's kind of pointing, it's guiding their eyes to come and follow it down towards that call to action button so they can click that button and get started. So if I move myself out of the way again, so once you've got your image sorted like this, we're going to press download and we're going to download as a PNG file. So you just press download. So this is going to save it now to our desktop. So let's just get this saved. So we'll go desktop. So men of Cardiff, I'm going to call this an image. Press save. So you've got that image. It's good to go. Let me just show you really quickly now. So that is the image we've just created. Okay, super simple. Okay, again, it's the before and after. You've got your logo in the middle, so that makes it stand out. And then the text guides them in. But what I want to do, and what's been working really well on Facebook ads at the minute, is making this into a video. So back on Canva, you've got your image. We press download. Where it says file type, we press PNG. And we press animation. This then gives us a load of different types. We've got the fade one. Yes, let's go back to fade. You've got pan, you've got block, rise. So we've got loads of different options, breathe, slide. So let's just go with block, because I like this, how the text kind of opens up. Again, we just press download.
So the video download does take a little bit quicker because it's got to make it into a much longer clip and it's got to do all those little effects. So I think the clip's going to be about between like four to six seconds long. We'll just see now when it loads. So it's almost there. Couple more seconds, come on. So close. So what I will do as well, in the description to this video, I'll put a link to this uh, image so you can literally just copy the link and edit the template yourself. So I'll create the template so you can just go and copy and use it yourself. Um, it's almost loaded now, so just a couple more seconds, I'm reckoning, before it's ready to go. Come on, Canva. So I would just wait for this. If you've got any other videos or any other questions that you'd like me to answer or like me to film, make sure you just comment below this video. Subscribe to the channel, comment below, and let us know. The more questions you ask, the more videos like this or we can create. So we've got this. So let's just call it Men of Cardiff video. Press save. And let's just open it up really quickly now. So if I move this to the center and just press play, perfect super simple and then you, you so we have like three seconds was it of movement almost like just under two seconds of movement and then it holds it so it drags it out so that initial kind of flickering stage this is going to catch their eye in the news feed because they're going to be scrolling through and this then is suddenly going to load and then it has a couple of more seconds to keep it there. So a really good idea is to either have it as a simple image or has it or have it literally as a video. So like I said just then as we were waiting for that to load, I will put a link to the template below the video description. All you need to do is click that link, it will open it up in Canva and then you can edit it and change it to the way that you like it. But this is a real simple Canva before and after tutorial to create the perfect images or videos for your social media and fitness business. I'll speak to you all next time for the next video. Cheers.